Hey there, and welcome to episode 6 of the Chronicles of the USS Balayo. We are in Fremantle. Uh, we have just finished our last patrol, or rather, we finished it a few days ago. Um, so, we have all of our crew set up, we have all of our upgrades set up, and we have a full complement of Mark 23 torpedoes. So, we are ready to get on the move again. Let's just remind ourselves of our score is 993,314 tons which is amazing and I'm really looking forward to hitting the 1 million mark so hopefully we can do that in this episode if we don't it probably means that we're dead so um, let's get on and get out to sea and see what they have in store for us so November 30th 1943 to Tommy USS Belair depart on the 15th of December your submarine will transport an agent of friendly intelligence services, offer all support, and we've already done this mission. Um, oh, okay, no, we're putting one slightly further up the coast, so we'll be inserting him at Penang. Okay, well, we can do that. Let's go on and get outside the harbour and um, start making our way. Right, we are back on board, and we're going to start setting our course. We're going to two-thirds, we are setting first map marker and we are returning to course so we will follow that map marker we're going up around the Australian coast and we're going all the way up here to Penang and we're going to be deploying right there right next to Penang so I think what we're going to do is we're going to go up by the Christmas Islands and then we're going to go up around this side of Sumatra or Sumatra and come around the top of Sumatra and uh, come across here I think what we'll do is we'll come up and drop the guy here now I don't know how far away that is from oh that's like five miles away they are gonna see me from inside there when I drop that guy off so I'm gonna have to do that at night but once we've done that, we will come back down here, I think. I think once we've done that, we'll ask for another mission and, and see where it's going to take us, because that really is... there's not a lot to do. But at this point, we have a fairly good control over the uh, Pacific, because we, ha we don't have Tokyo or any of this area, but we do have all of Australia. We've got the Solomon Islands, and we have uh, around this area the, the Gulf of Papua. We have a, a, a base down there. We don't have Rabaul yet but I'm sure that we will. We also have control of uh, a base near Ternate, is that? I think that's Ternate. Anyway, so that's uh, the Bandana Sea, or the Banda Sea rather, not the Bandana Sea. It'd be cooler if it was called the Bandana Sea. Uh, so yeah, so we have a, a good presence in this area. Of course, we still have uh, a couple of Japanese areas over there, and somewhere there is... I'm sure it's here somewhere, is where truck is but I just can't find it so you know it's out there somewhere so we're gonna go ahead and get to our location and um, I will see you there right well we are approaching Penang we are a couple of hundred miles away and uh, we just had the RA pack news saying General Dwight D Eisenhower was promoted today to the Supreme Allied Commander in Europe Montgomery throws tantrum in strongly worded letter to Churchill well um, I don't suppose Churchill gives a damn, to be honest, because, you know, that's what Churchill was like. Didn't really give a damn about anything. So we're going to go ahead and get on into Penang here, or into the area of Penang, and hopefully we won't be spotted by anything. All we've had so far is a couple of planes. So, um, yeah, we're going to try and get in there without being spotted, hopefully. And at this point, there's not really a lot of point in me cutting away. So, I'm going to slow down time, however, in shallow water, so that's great. Uh, that, I believe, is probably a destroyer, and it is. So we're going to have to deal with him. Right, um, what would be the best way to do that? Let's mark down where he's going to begin with. So right now he's on sort of that course. And we'll see if he reverses or not. If he reverses, this could be good for me. If he doesn't, then I really don't know. Uh, at that point, he's probably going to be quite close to me if he's not already coming towards me. Alright, let's adjust that. How far away is he? 
He's 13 miles away. Hmm, well he could have me on sonar. What we're going to do is we're going to go to periscope depth and we're going to continue inwards. It looked like he just turned around. But, um, yeah, so we know that line is where he was, approximately. That's more fox traffic, which was Merry Christmas, okay. Alright, whatever. We're going to go sink a destroyer on Christmas Day. Ah, right, he's moved all the way up there. And he's over there. And doing a sweep back down again. Hmm. This will be interesting. Right, I reckon... I'm going to set myself to be sort of there. I'll get down to one third speed. And I want to actually see him on the surface. Because I think he's coming back down to where he was patrolling before. I don't think that he knows that we're here. I mean, he's definitely strafing and things, but I don't think that he actually knows we're there. That's him right there. I don't know what he is. Let's see if we can uh, identify this guy. That's already zoomed in as far as I can go. And my mouse decides that it wants me to have low sensitivity, which is lovely. Right, now then, he is a destroyer of some type. Right, is he a Shiratsu? I don't think so, no. Uh, no. Don't think he's a Minikaze. He only seems to have one stack. He could be in a... Oh, no, 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 no. He is an Akizuki. Because right there is that thing on the back of him. So he's an Akizuki destroyer. And uh, definitely worth sinking. And he clearly has no clue that we're here. So we're just going to continue going forward for now. And he's going all the way over there. Is he going to turn around? Where is he going to turn around? Right, he's turning around there. And he's going to come right in front of us. So I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop right here. And we're going to lock him up wherever he is. He's over here somewhere. He's not that far over. He could be out of visual range. Nope, there he is. He's right there. Let's lock him up. And get my torpedoes. Can I switch these? To yes, I can. I want to switch them to contact influence because while contact is working for me I would rather have them on contact influence. So I know that contact influence makes them less effective, they don't put holes in them as easily but they do sometimes put holes in and are we still locked on? No, we're not. Let's speed it up a bit and see if we can't get him in front of us. He shouldn't see us because he shouldn't be able to see my scope moving. We're now all stop. And he doesn't look like he's got any clue, which is good. Yeah, we've got the music coming on. He is closing, but he's actually closing in front of us. So that's good. Let's go ahead and slow down time now. We will lock on to him. His angle is somewhere in the region of that. His range is somewhere around there. Speed, I'm going to say his speed is somewhere around 8 knots. That's my guess. So, what does the targeting computer think of that? Let's lock. Thinks I've got his bearing completely wrong and that he's more like that. Which is, I suppose, possible. That's far more likely, apparently. How have I got his speed? Uh, his speed looks about right, but I've got his range wrong, apparently. So let's, uh, let's rearrange him. Uh, I've still got his range wrong, apparently. Let's try again. Give me a tool, thank you. Let's try about there. No, nope, that makes him closer. My bad. So we have to range him about halfway down the mast. Let's try that. 
Yep, spot on. Right, now he's turning now. Where's he turning to? Is he turning around? Yeah, he clearly doesn't know we're here. Because he's just turning and moving away from us. Well, that's annoying. Um, okay, unlock. And... Um, one third ahead. So we're going to go with him. I don't know where he's going to go. But... Oh, I don't really want to go over there. Because that's where the objective is. And there's another destroyer or something over there. It could be a destroyer. It could be something else. I don't know. Either way, he is coming back and doing his sweep again. I really don't want to be dropping off this guy... Before I've taken out this destroyer. We're in shallow water now. And we're very close to the shoreline. Right, what we're going to do... I'm going to... I'm going to do that. So then we can turn around. Because I don't want to be pointed directly at the wall. If this destroyer decides that he wants to come and have a piece. So... Uh, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab that map marker and delete it. And that way, we should turn around. And then we can just reverse inwards once we've taken care of this guy. If we take care of this guy. And, um, yeah, we're reduced to only 8 times speed. How far away is he? Because I could possibly get away with dropping off this guy. He is... Um, well, that's five miles, isn't it? Up there, that's five miles. He's well within visual range, so no, we won't be doing that. What we will do is change that to there. I need to get out of this shallow water. It's really slowing me down. Let's go over here. Let's go, 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 go. Move. Right, there we go. That was a bit better for about a nanosecond have to get rid of this destroyer otherwise there's no way I'm going to be able to put this guy down. Right, there we go. Now then, where's he going? He looks like he's just going over there. Don't go to standard, don't go to standard, don't go to standard. Oh, God damn it! He will have picked that up, I'm sure. Oh no, perhaps not. Perhaps we're all right. Oh, damn it! He picked me up there. Yeah, that's, that's bad. Right, let's reverse, and I need to go and lock this guy up, lock him angles like that, range there, speed, let's put his speed up, 12, lock, that looks about right, I'm going to put it slightly back, open the tube, fire it there. And let's see what we've got. No, he's turning away from that one. So, yeah, that's going to miss him. I need to change his bearing to over there. Range. Speed is slightly less than that. In fact, it's probably about 10, actually. That'll do. That's fantastic. Uh, let's... Great. Okay, flank forward. Actually, no, 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 no. We will back emergency and go full left. And hopefully, we will be able to pull around him in time that he won't be able to hit us, but that looks unlikely. Oh no, maybe we did. A gun has been damaged. Oh, that's close. Oh, that's right on us too. Yeah, that's not good. Pumps, A guns. Okay. Uh, damage control team. Stop. Straighten. 
off tubes. Wow, we're shaking a lot. Right, angle is like that now. Range there. Speed, I'm going to say, is about the same. That angle is all wrong, but does actually look promising. So I'm going to fire it there with the spread on it. Let's see. Oh, that's just going to miss him too. Right, let's put another one a little bit further ahead and fire there. And let's see if that one gives us any more joy. It does not. Fantastic. Um, right, how badly are we damaged? This one. Radio receiver. Oh, not that badly damaged. You didn't even take any hull damage. That's fine then. Uh, we've got no flooding, no real damage to speak of. Um, right, let's unlock that. Let's get some more information on him. He is now, what, like that? Probably more like, yeah, like that. Range is right there. Speed. Let's see what they think. 13. Alright, I'll go with you since I have not been doing too well today. Go to the thing. Right, he's far more like that. Well, they think I should be shooting there. Alright. I'll give your solution a try. Let's try that out. Oh! I should have more faith in my crew, they got it right on. Okay. Well, hopefully that's enough to put him down. It should be. He's certainly on fire. So we'll see, I guess. He's definitely slowing down and he is drooping at the back. Speed up a little bit. Yeah, I think he's going down. Let's go to external camera and have a look. Oh, that's not what I might be looking at. Where is he? There. Yeah, I don't think he's going to be staying afloat much longer. The back of him's just dipped under the water there. Which is lovely. I just had to step away from the keyboard for a moment there, but it does appear that this ship is going to go down. Just a matter of time. The front is going up and the back is going down. Yeah, that's definitely going down. Just a matter of how long it's going to take. So, how long are you going to take, Mr. Ship? Hmm? Let's speed it up a little bit. See if we can't get you to go down a bit faster. There we go. It's still not officially sunk yet. Um, there we go, finally. I thought we were going to have another one of those ships again, but no, we're fine. Um, right, now I need to check for land units and things, which it does not appear that there are any, so that's okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to go over there, one third, return to course. We're going to surface and put down the scope and check the damage. So radio receiver is damaged and hopefully when we're on, while we're on the surface we can fix the 40mm AA guns and the 50mm uh, deck gun. And there is a sunk destroyer. I do like to see sunken destroyers. And that should have been an Akizuki. It was an Akizuki. Good. Right. Uh, radar contact, long range, that is inside the dock. Right, well we've got a gunboat and three merchant ships, which actually could make good targets. Now is that... No, men are at battle stations, I need to, to turn that off. Uh, but I want to leave 
the damage control team on because we should be fixing the stuff that's broken. So, yep, the other stuff is now on the list. That's good. Radio receiver, however, is the top priority. So, we're going to get in towards the shoreline. And, yeah, another radar contact. I'm guessing that's... no. Hmm. Don't know where that radar contact is. Nope, still don't know. Anyway, here we go. Right. Uh, let's postpone because we're still travelling at nine knots, so we need to stop. Then we're going to go to external camera, and I'm guessing this is where we. Well, this must be where we're dropping the uh, the troops in. So we need to stop. Doesn't look like they're making much of an effort to stop. Let's put it in reverse. Three, two, one, and stop. Can we stop, please? That'd be fantastic. Just sort of, you know, stop. Still going one knot. Would you please stop? Stop, please. Stop. Whatever. This will do. Right. Launch the boat. There is... Uh, these must be our uh, our intelligence team. Still on board the boat. Right. There's one away. Two away. Three away. And crashing loudly into our submarine. Let's turn the volume down on that. Right, and they're all the way and they're upside down, which is great. Oh, they've gone all the way over. Okay, well, it looks like they are away. So, we're going to reverse to get out of here. And hopefully, not sink them, because that can happen. So, away you go this intrepid team of adventurers towards occupied China. Is this China? Penang? I think it's China. Yeah, towards occupied China. Best of luck, boys. We're leaving. But, um, yeah, we're very tempted by what's in that dockyard up there. Seeing as though... Oh, hello. What's that? That's another... Oh, that's, that's a... Hmm. Is it stationary? It is stationary. I'm imagining that is a sub-chaser. But it does look quite big to be a sub-chaser, I don't know. Either way, how are the repairs coming along? Not very rapidly, it seems. Um, are my men injured or something? Oh, okay, my, my gun teams are injured. So I'm going to turn on Medic. And uh, hopefully get them into fighting fitness. However, uh, what we are going to do is we're going to turn to the right as we're reversing. That will do nicely. Then we're going to straighten up and go forward at one third. And when I get to within... Well, that's five miles, isn't it? So actually I should be in visual range of these guys in daytime, that is. But it is quite late. So uh, I'm going to say about 7,000 yards. So about there I'm going to go underwater. In fact, we need to actually turn away a bit. A bit like that. Yeah, straighten up there. And our radar, our radio is still not fixed. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that. But we're just uh, refueling our batteries. And in fact, I'm going to stop here and wait until my batteries are fixed. Not batteries, uh, my... Uh, Till my radar, not radar, radio is fixed. 
nothing wrong with the radar, the radar is absolutely fine. Right, so we are now at the range I want to be underwater, ideally. But I think we're fine. So I will uh, come back once uh, we have repaired the stuff. Okay, well, we don't have everything fixed yet. In fact, I don't think we have anything fixed yet. Oh no, we've fixed the, uh, the radio receiver. Okay, well, I'm not going to bother with the AA guns right now, because they should be fine, really. They're taking hardly any damage as it is. So our batteries are fully um, repaired. So what we're going to do is we're going to set a course out here and we're going to go in towards that dock. Underwater, of course, as we have plenty of uh, battery power now. And uh, what I want to do is scout out what is in here and if there's anything that's really worth sinking, which is pretty much any merchant ship, really, we're going to sink. And then we're going to go and uh, get out of here and ask for another mission. Now then, this seems a pretty good place to stop. We will stop here, eventually, apparently. And let's go start trying to identify in these things. Uh, right, is that far left? Looks like it. That's an old engine aft. So we want to go out of Japan and into Merchants. Old engine aft, for some reason, is up on the far right-hand side not far right, far left hand side of the uh, of the book. Don't quite know why, but anyway. Right, where's the next one? There is a gunboat there and a sub chaser there. That is very dark. Can I get a bit of a better view with that? That is hmm. I think that's a medium old tanker. I think it's one of those. That's what I'm going to put. And that's a ship there as well. Um, it's pretty big. But I can't see where the stack is. I really don't know. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut away and wait for daytime so I can actually see what they are. So uh, I'll be back shortly. Perhaps that was a bad idea, because up here, moving very slowly, we have got some kind of warship. Um, there it is, it's a destroyer. I thought there was another one, I just thought it had left. Um, okay, so in that case, we need to see what it is. Uh, it has two stacks. It could be that one, actually. Um, he's in a really bad position for me to fire at. Because he's, like, directly there. In fact, I'm going to wait for him to get a bit closer before I try and do anything. Because otherwise, I have no idea where I would go. Now he's disappeared. There he is. Well, what was that? That was about like a plane down there. Now, where did he go? Whoa, what the hell? Um, what the hell just happened? What the hell just happened? Um, well, there's my sub. Did the destroyer just, like, charge me and kill itself? I have no clue what just happened. Hold on. Why is my... Why am I so low? I think the destroyer just came and rammed me. Um... Okay... Right, damage repair team, please. Yeah, we've got some damage. Uh, not a great deal of damage, mind you, but it does seem that we've got a dead ship there. And that destroyer is nowhere to be seen. So I guess it dropped depth charges on me and killed itself. Well, we didn't sink another ship, apparently. 
but there is a sunk ship right there. Um, okay. Alright, fine. Well, it's now daytime, so can I get a better idea of what this is? Oh, that's, that's a medium European. That's what that is. So once you've got some light, it's easy to tell what things are. Where is the medium European? There it is. Back there. That's a medium European. So, we're going to shoot that one first. We're going to get an angle on it somewhere in that kind of region. Which is more like that. Pumps repaired. Good. Alright then. Um, I can't even see where the water line is on that. That'll do. Speed is nothing. No speed. No speed at all. No. Zero. Right. Get rid of that. We don't need that anymore. So I believe there's only three merchants here. No, there's four merchants here. There's one there as well. Okay, well, one we're shooting at is that one. And that looks pretty good. It's a contact. I'll keep that. Put it higher in the water though. Open the tube and fire. And let's see what this one does. There's the torpedo coming out. There she goes. The fish is away away from my my accident prone submarine it seems today oh well at least the destroyer took far more damage than I did so here goes the torpedo and it's got a fair distance to travel I think not even sure where it is there it is yeah it's got a quite a way to go yet so here we go and actually that is gonna be like really quite close um, if this misses, I wouldn't be surprised. Oh no, that's fine. Big explosion. There's a hole in the ship, which is lovely. Ah, well, that is a medium old tanker, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it is. Not 100% sure. But I'm just going to check. Where is the medium old tanker? Medium old tanker is not there, it's back this way somewhere, isn't it? Medium... No, okay, it's not. It's further up the end here. Yep, medium old tanker, yep, and it does have those things, so we're going to unlock that one. Where is it? Oh, thank you, mouse, that was lovely. Is that it there? Yep, that's it right there, and no I wonder I didn't see it. Right. Okay, well, I don't want to be shooting at that one. I'm going to be shooting at this one. But has that one taken enough damage to actually put it down? I can't say with certainty. What the hell is it? Yeah. I'm so lost. Right, there we go. Over here. Over here somewhere. There it is. Right. Has that taken enough damage to sink it? How far from the bottom is it? Uh, well, it's got enough room to sink, that's for sure. Is it going to sink? That's a completely different question. Nope, I think that one's staying on the surface. So, let's go ahead and uh, get back to here. Are we shooting with the forward torpedoes? That's why we must be. Right, I need to put the, the information in again. So it'll probably have lost it by now. Uh, somewhere around there, that'll do. Zero speed. There we go, that looks much better. Okay, we will open up torpedo number four and fire it. We don't need that right now. Torpedo's in the water, here it comes. It's approaching target, back to one time speed. And are we going to get contact camera? Yes we are. Here it is. And this should finish it off. It's right in the middle. It's exactly where I would have wanted to hit it. Right underneath the stack, right in the middle of the ship. I think we've got a fire there possibly. Yep, we've got a fire. And two big holes. It's actually got a deck gun on that one. See, deck gun right there. But I think that'll be enough for it. It does seem to be slipping a bit lower. Yep, it definitely looks like it's going lower. It hasn't officially sunk yet. 
have a look through the with the periscope. Yeah, it's definitely sinking. Definitely, without a question. So, it is right in front of me. So there we go. Follow the fire. There it is. That has not officially sunk yet, but it is going to sink, surely. There we go. Enemy unit destroyed. Down she goes. Isn't that pretty? That's what I wanted to click. There we go. Under she goes. Oh, and we've got an explosion up the front end too. How nice. Right, okay, so the next one is going to be... Uh, is going to be... That was... Hmm, okay, I could have sworn that I identified these. But, alright. Now then. Whoa, what the hell? Must have snapped in the middle. That was weird. Right, uh, okay, so there's Subchaser there. And back there was... I can't even remember what that was now. I think that's a tanker, isn't it? Not even sure. That is definitely an old engine aft. So I'm not going to bother marking in again. That's just irritating. Uh, I think I'm going to get further forward. I'm going to go ahead one third. Speed up time a bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I'm approaching stuff that can not shoot at me. Right. Uh, I think I want to turn a little bit to the right. Yeah, turn a bit to the right, that'll do. We'll straighten up here. We're being pinged by that sub chaser, but there's nothing you can do. Uh, we're going to go here, we'll do nicely. Let's go to reverse. And wait for it to go down to three and stop. We go two, one, zero. Right. Now, the one in front of us is an old engine aft. How lovely. Uh, okay, well in that case, I'm... Whoa. Yeah. I'm far more interested in that one, which is where the money's at. That's what's going to pay for my, uh, my retirement. Now then. Uh, that's at 90 degrees. It's actually more like that, isn't it? And... That's the top of the mast. Speed is, of course, nothing. And we'll see. Yeah, I was completely wrong. Okay, so you should always stick that as to where it is in the reticle, which is almost entirely like that. Like so. Right. Uh, did I open that tube? Yes, I did. So, just fire it. And then here comes the tube, uh, out the torpedo out the aft tube. There it goes. Torpedo is away. Now then, it hasn't got far to go. And it should hit it fairly close to the middle of the ship. So, contact camera. It's not exactly in the middle, but it's pretty good. Uh, medium old tankers don't generally take all that many torpedoes, so that one could actually be a killer torpedo. It hasn't split it in half, but it has done some damage. I don't think it's going down though. I'm pretty sure we're going to have to hit that one again. Is it going to go down? It's, well, it's capsizing a bit, or not capsizing, but it's listing a bit. Um, no, that's going to need another. Okay, well let's put number 9 in it then. We shouldn't need a new... No, we don't need a new uh, solution on it. We just need to fire it off. So, there it goes. Contact camera, and this should go pretty much in the same hole as the last one. Yep. Right in the same hole, which is exactly what I wanted. And now it's very heavily on fire and definitely slipping below the surface there. Question is, is that going to be enough to kill it? It should be, it really should. But will it? Yep, it did. Enemy unit destroyed. Good. Right then, next is the old engine afts. So, lock that one. You want forward torpedo tubes again. You want it 
sort of that kind of angle range and not even going to bother with speed right okay that looks good we will open that tube and fire a torpedo right there and hopefully we're not too close to it which we may be I don't know let's see are we going to get contact camera yes we are it should have had enough time to arm the torpedo and it did good that's a big fire but old engine offs are surprisingly durable so we may have to hit it again yep I think we're gonna have to give it another one even though I don't particularly want to oh no it is uh, is it gonna stay there yeah it's gonna stay there okay we have to hit it with another one let's do tube 5 and fire and if we don't get contact camera, I'm going to stick with this view. Oh no, we do get contact camera, that's good. Get rid of the bloody stopwatch. Now the big explosion. And that has to be enough for this one, surely. Two torpedoes in the same hole. It's very heavily on fire. Is it going to sink or is it going to explode? It wouldn't surprise me if it capsized, but this fire is spreading, so I think we're going to get an explosion possibly are you going to explode young man or rather old man as it's an old engine aft hmm well it doesn't look like it's going to sink but I'm wrong again because it does there it goes it's gone down just slipping below the ocean or rather about three foot down onto the bottom of the uh, of the dockyard right now then what's left is that gunboat there that sub chaser there and that old engine aft over there which i don't really want to sink to be honest um oh and of course we will have reached over one million tons by now so yeah how many torpedoes do we have left only three in the aft and what's that 11 in the front Alright, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reverse. Oh, oopsie daisy, my bad. I was uh, hammering the fire button there, which is not what I wanted to do. Right, turn left. And we should be turning around the outside of that sub chaser. Yep, just like that. Straighten up. That should go forward and right now. There we go. I'm going to keep turning around. And from here, we're going to go left. And then here, we will straighten and stop. Then, we're going to look out aft. We're going to lock that target. We're going to set in its angle and its range we're going to open tubes 10 and 8 then we're going to go to here and we're going to put 8 and 10 in the same place there we go and from this angle we should be able to see both torpedoes on the way well, not when we're looking straight at one torpedo, but when it uh, starts spinning around, we should be able to see the other one behind it. If it ever gets around to the front view, that is, of course. Oh, no, we're just going to go straight to contact camera. So there's the first one. We may even see the second torpedo right behind it. No, we won't. Okay, there's the first, uh, first torpedo strike. And there's the second one. Hopefully that will be enough for this old engine aft to just die. But we will see. It's very heavily on fire. I wouldn't, would not be surprised if it exploded. I really wouldn't. Is it going to? Are you going to blow up? No? Well, it's destroyed anyway. Give it a few seconds to explode. 
see if it's going to or not. No, it's just going to sink. Okay, fine. Well, that's all right with me. So, we have uh, 11 torpedoes in the front, one in the aft, and uh, we're going to set the course out of here because I'm not interested in sinking um, sub-chasers and gunboats. So we're going to go... I think we're going to go down this way into the Strait of Malacca, and that's a slow-moving ship over there, apparently. So, we'll see if we can intercept that guy on our way out here, and that'll be uh, a nice end to this little port run. Okay, well, we have spotted the slow-moving ship, and um, it's right there, which means that it's probably a sampan or a junk or something similar to that. It's a very small ship, no matter what it is, and it's not a warship. Otherwise, it would be giving me a warship warning. So, we're just going to go over here. And what's that? Oh, that's a very fast-moving plane. Fantastic. Um, this could be interesting. Right, let's see. Nope, we're going to get this guy coming straight at us. Right, okay, let's, let's man the AA gun. Uh, and fire at will fire at closing targets. Um, no, I'm not going to worry about doing short range. Let's see if we can spot this plane coming in. He's going to be over this direction somewhere. Is that him? Yep, there he is. There's the plane. Right there. Shoot that thing looks like a fairly big one too, so it could even have bombs on it, I don't know. Are you going to start shooting it? That would be nice. There it is. Apparently out of range still. Still out of range. which may mean that it's going to drop bombs on us or it may mean that it's not I really don't know um... yeah, fire at him please right, there he is, right overhead there he go there he is I don't know what kind of ship that is, uh, that, what kind of plane that is, but um, apparently it has stayed completely out of range. Did it drop bombs? It may have done. Either way, it didn't do any damage. So, we're going to continue towards this ship over here and see if he comes back. Doesn't appear that he's coming back. That's fine. Right onto the deck gunner. What is that thing? Oh, it's a tugboat. Okay, well in that case I'm going to commandeer the front AA gun and I'm going to sink it because I can. Of course tugboats are a lot stronger than the sandpans would have been but not strong enough to withstand that kind of firepower. Our shields can't repel firepower of that magnitude. So yes, he's now dead. Good. So then, um, that unfortunately was the ship that was reported in the south. Give me the tool. Thank you. Right. So we're going to return to course and what we're going to do is we're going to request a new mission. Right, request an update on enemy presence in Singapore. Recon the area and if possible infiltrate the anchorage and photograph any enemy ships. Okay, so I need to get into Singapore, which is down here. So, let's set a course down here, ignoring Port Sweetenham. And we're going to go to Singapore, which I believe does have a destroyer presence outside it. So we're going to go down there, and uh, this marker right here, that's the uh, the tugboat we just destroyed, I think, unless we're going to find another one down here. Don't know. We may do, we may not. Either way, um, if we don't, the next time 
that uh, we see this will be near Singapore. So, I'll see you there. Right, well we've got pack news. A German monster ship Skarnhorst brought down by a pack of British cruisers. I don't know what the Skarnhorst is, um, but it must have been a big ship for uh, it to have a pack news thing about it. But we do have a ship over here, and it is um, not a small one, or at least it's not a tiny one. So what we're going to do is we're going to set intercept course right there, which is just over 10 miles away. I'm going to set a range around there, and hopefully we will get there first before it gets into visual range. I'm expecting to do so. I'm going to go down to one third here slow right down and I will stop here put up the scope and we're gonna go to periscope depth and we're not actually moving anymore what's that oh it's very fast that's a plane right actually I'm gonna go forward two knots because otherwise we're gonna be out of range so we actually stopped a lot quicker than usual that time which is um, nice but also annoying so let's stop and we should be able to wait for it on this course because this appears to be exactly where it's going and it is that's good let's slow right down and get to the periscope and see what we've got there it is it is um, could be a troop transport it's definitely got a gun on the back I can say that much uh, its angle is something like that and range is around there. Let's reset the targeter. Now we're going to be firing with the forward tubes. Uh, I've got his angle all wrong apparently. It's apparently far more like that. I'm not doing well with angles today. Thank you mouse. That was so much fun. Uh, right. Let's take the spread off for now. There we go. And well, I think I've got that fairly right and I forgot to put a speed on. Uh, how fast do I reckon he's going? I reckon he's going about six knots. No, I'm going to say seven knots. Reset this thing. Um, well, I may have been right with six knots, so I may have been right. So let's go for six. Either six or five. Let's uh, re-angle him. He's still more like that, isn't he? Get another range on him. When it lets me see him again, that is. Stupid waves. Right. Let's put his range about there. And let's re-lock him, because it managed to lose the lock there. Uh, now I've got his angle way wrong. Way, way, way wrong. His angle is sort of there try that. Better. Right. Um, well, six is too fast, so he's moving at five. Angle is there. Speed is... Don't mess with me. Speed is five. Set and lock again. Don't be irritating. I've got his angle way wrong again, but... We do have a speed correct now, which is a good thing. No, a bit more. And that's a touch too much. There. Right, that's close enough. Now then, that seems to be pretty much right. I'm going to open up that tube there. And we're going to go a little bit further forward. Now, what do I think that is? I think it's a troop carrier. Or do I? Yeah, I do think it's a troop carrier. I think up here somewhere. Troop transports. No, it's not that one. No. Uh, it could be. No. Well, it's definitely not a huge liner, unfortunately. Well, in that case, it must be a large old split, then. 
Oh, there's a large old split for right time. Yeah, it's a large old split. Okay, well, that's fine. He can be a large old split. Let's just reset that. Yep, that looks good. I've opened the tube already. In fact, I want to take the spread off it. And we'll fire one there. And because it's a large old split, I'm going to put one slightly in front as well. And we'll fire it there. Alright, so torpedoes are now in the water. Here they go. Don't think he spotted them, and they look to be exactly where they should be which is right in the middle-ish, give or take. That one looks good, and the second one should be coming any moment now. Still don't see the trail. There it is. Ooh, that was a big one, and something flew off like really fast. I have no clue what it was, but um, yeah. Would that be enough to put you down? Well, he's definitely got a fire at the back. Oh yeah, I think he's going down alright. Yeah, without a doubt. He is going down, enemy unit destroyed. Good. That's what I like to hear. Surface. And down he goes. And he had a gun right at the front there, which I didn't know. But hey, he's actually going to turn over, which is interesting. Over he goes. And down. Or rather, over she goes and down. Now she's upside down. And may have hit the seabed there. Yeah, she did. Oh well. She's sunk. And that is good for me. So that's another 8,000 tonnes, I think. Oh, that was a medium old composite freighter. Wow, I was really off on my identification. That tugboat was over a thousand tons. That's ridiculous. Okay, so four thousand tons then. Yeah, that, that was really far off. Oh well. Right, we need to return to course at two thirds, not standard. And we need to clear off this targeting stuff. There we go. And, hmm. Apparently there's a small convoy over here, which will be sandpans, of course. But anyway, we're going to get back to course and go to Singapore.